Now we're going to take a look at the control statement called a do while. A do while is an example of an exit controlled loop. What we've looked at so far are basically entrance controlled loops where the loop construct decides whether statement processing, the flow of processing, is allowed to get into the statements contained within the while. A do while decides since it's an exit controlled loop, whether we are allowed to leave the statement processing, whether processing flow is allowed to leave. So here you can see we have the do, an open brace, a number of statements to be performed, a closed brace, and then the while. Here's our test expression at the end of the do while. So all of these statements are performed first, then the expression is evaluated. If this test expression returns true, as we know, non-zero, then the statements are performed again. And then the test expression is evaluated again. If it's false, we move on. If it's true, we do the loop again. Pretty simple, but necessary. Here's an example of some code. Normal headings up here, standard I.O. and all the usual things we've looked at. And now we're going to do a get care, throw away the carriage return again. We need our second get care. And we're going to print out the ASCII, the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, value, the decimal value of this character that we brought in from the keyboard. And that's going to be I down here. So we're going to print out the decimal representation with percent %D. While the I is not equal to a capital Q for quit. And that's, remember, a character constant, has single quotes around it. And then notice that there's a semicolon out here at the end of the while. That's necessary in a do while. If you had a normal while, remember a few videos back we talked about while, what would happen if you had a while like this with a semicolon at the end? Well, you sit here and chase your tail because this gets performed over and over and over again and there's nothing in here in the statement block. No work be is being performed. So this basically just sits and spins because you don't ever change I over here. Well, in this case of a do while, it's necessary to have the semicolon to tell the do while that it's done and it knows how to get back to this open brace and start over again. So let's go take a look at it. There's the code, what we just looked at, while i is not equal to q. We'll go over to our compiler, and we'll compile and link do while. There it's linked up. Now let's run it. I can type. And it's sitting there waiting. So in lowercase a is a 97, a capital A is a 65, and all of these other characters that we can type in there and get their values and we do a capital Q and we're out of the loop just the way we said it would work and that's a do while exit controlled loop